Today we're going to tear into this Macintosh. This thing had an inflated battery, so we're going to put a new battery in it. You get to watch me badly unscrew lots of tiny screws. Something important you need to know about these screws is that they are very, very small, but they're also very different. And you may not even be able to see it, but that screw has a little bit of unthreaded area near the screw head. Those are different from some of the other screws, and you need to be aware of this. I push pretty hard on it to get it out. That, that is the one. You may or may not be able to see it, but that is one of the ones that I'm talking about. It is different from the others and has to go back in this spot right here. There should be another one here. However, this particular MacBook had already lost a couple screws due to them basically exploding out when the battery inflated and bent it up. Alrighty. Now, these three on the back of these unibodies these are the long screws. These are the ones that you look at and go, why are all the other ones so short? But these are insane. Humongous, absolutely humongous compared to these little tiny ones over here. Three of those. Okay. And the magnetic screwdriver can't even pull them out. So there's three of those. Now, we're going in. I have some fingernail left. I just pried up. Yep, there we go. Mm, nice and clean. All right. As you can probably see, I've already removed the old battery. It was going to explode, so it had to go. Now. One thing you will notice, you may not be able to see it from there, but let me find in my bit kit, there is a specific bit for this type of screw. Apple uses a tri-wing screw to try and keep you from getting into your own computer and repairing it. And I have to figure out where my tri-wing bit has gone. Well, incredibly inconveniently, someone lost my tri-wing bit. So I had to go find the other bit kit, and this is the only one I have. I don't know if you can see it or not on this camera, but this cute looking little thing that only has three wings on it instead of four is a tri-wing version of a Philips. <sighs> Apple computers, you can't get the battery out without using a tri-wing bit because they put these horrible, horrible screws. Uh, and don't drop it down here because, you know, it's really hard to get them back out. So I'm going to put that there. And there's a really long one here. And I'll move them out of the way. We have a generic replacement battery that Apple is probably very unhappy exists. Because then they can't get $500 from us for a battery for a computer that is something to the tune of six years old. Got our long screw here. This is a little tip. Put the screw on the tip before you start trying to use it and then let it go as soon as it's in the hole. Makes things easier. Let's make sure this battery will mount up real quick before we go any further. Come on. Don't be pesky. Don't be pesky. Get in there. There you go. And let's... I like to wind it backwards first and then turn it forward once I hear the threads click against one another. Because the winding backwards lets me know that the threads have hit each other and that it should go in smoothly at that point. That's it. 
reassemble, which is easier said than done. While I'm at it, maybe I can show you. Yes, I can. This is supposed to be straight. You might see a little indentation. It's right here. It's not even remotely sexy. What has happened here is this battery, well, the one that it replaced anyway, had puffed up and it had bent this metal as if I had just taken it and pulled it like this. I bent the metal back so that it'll go back into the groove. It doesn't fit perfectly. You kind of have to mess with it a little bit to get it to go. It's, it's pretty grouchy. Unfortunately, you're not supposed to be bending the metal like this in the first place. So, it's not exactly made to be damaged like this. And this is where the bent metal starts to be a problem. <clears throat> I can feel it flexing a little there. Yeah, that doesn't want to go in. You have to be careful not to cross thread it. If it doesn't want to go, back it out and try again from a different angle. See how it's a little more depressed now, like these are. It didn't want to go, it was sticking up a little bit. That's always a bad thing. Now, remember, I warned you, there are these screws that don't have the extra. There are these screws that do have the extra. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, probably not, because it's pretty dark. But one is a little longer than the other and has an unthreaded area. The one that doesn't have that goes in this diagonal side here. There should be one here, but I have lost it, or he has lost it. I can't remember, but there were some screws missing from the get-go. This one of them goes here. Looks like I have four, so I'll put these across the front. So in the end, this is the only one that's actually missing on this repair. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now, will it work? With the new battery, that is always the question. Will it work? Wow. I hear it. There it goes. And that's a yes, my friends. It is working with the new battery. So, that's the end of that. Bye for now.